Hey, great to be with you today. We're in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, and so if you have your Bibles, would you uh, turn there with me today, and we'll pray and jump into the Word. Father, thank you so much for your Word today. We pray that your Holy Spirit would just illuminate our understanding and empower us to apply. In Jesus' name, amen. The Bible says today in verse 5 of chapter 7, For indeed, when we came to Macedonia, our bodies had no rest, but we were troubled on every side. Outside were conflicts, inside were fears. Nevertheless, God, who comforts the downcast, comforted us by the coming of Titus. Um, look, I, I read this and I think, man, Paul went through a lot. And I, this is just particularly encouraging to me when I go through a lot. Because I do think sometimes when we have um, struggle in our life, sometimes the first thing we think is, man, what am I doing wrong? You know, where am I off? And sometimes, sometimes, you know, it is self-generated. There's no doubt about it. But Paul's so honest here. He's like, man, when we were in Macedonia, um, it was like, it was trouble on every side. You know, there was no relief. There was no peace. It was like contention everywhere. Everywhere we looked, there was opposition. And... Paul said that there were that there were conflicts on the outside and you know when he was preaching in the synagogue there were people that for sure were believing but there were people who were opposing as well and then you know as ministries developed and churches developed there was persecution from Judaizers that followed him around and and then oftentimes from Gentiles themselves and you know listen I think for sure, in the culture we live in, we think success equals affirmation, right? When we're getting the applause, when we're getting the affirmation, when everyone is, you know, joining us on our social media platforms and like we're the best thing since sliced bread, you know, that means success. But that's just, I mean, you have to look at the life of Paul or Jesus, you know, to know that that's just not the case. And Paul went through a lot. There were conflicts on the outside, which produced some fear on the inside. Thank God for the honesty of the Apostle Paul, who was like, man, you know what? We were afraid. We were afraid. The, the, the difficulty was so great that, that there was turbulence on, uh, within our own hearts. And of course, you know, Paul had mentioned in uh, these epistles to the Corinthians that Christ himself had to come to Paul and say, listen, Paul, don't fear. Don't fear, you know, I have people in this city. And so, you know, what was it that really comforted Paul as he's giving this account? Well, it was, it was Titus, you know, it was the coming of Titus. He says in his own words um, that comforted the downcast. And, and so, listen, God brought the comfort that Paul needed through a person. It was through a person. I just kind of picture this in my mind. When Paul saw Titus coming, what went through his heart, right? And here, I'm not saying it worked out like this, but Titus is walking down the road and Paul's response would have been, oh man, I love that guy. Thank God, right? Thank God he is here. The the turmoil and the fear within my heart has been set at ease. There's a comfort in my heart because my beloved brother, who I'm so thankful for, is coming my way. And God used Titus as an instrument to lift up the Apostle Paul. You know, a couple of things here. First of all, um, never be above being comforted by others. Never be above being comforted by others. You know, sometimes if we're not careful, we can put ourselves in a, in a position where it's like we don't really receive anything from anybody. And that is just the worst place to be. I'm so thankful Paul wasn't like that. But the larger point today is this. What do people think when they see you coming? You know, what do people think when they see you coming? When people catch a glimpse of you walking towards them, are their hearts lifted up? Are they filled with comfort? Uh, is there this sense of, of joy? Uh, that you're taking a step towards them because they've already connected you with those particular good things that you bring. Like you bring a spirit of peace and you bring a, a, a word of comfort and encouragement. That you are someone rooted and grounded in the truth of God and are filled with God's love. So that just when they see your image coming their way, there's that association to all those things. Or is it 
Or is it the opposite where it's like, oh man, here comes that person again, you know, with their attitude and with their self-centeredness and, and maybe with that, you know, negative outlook and constant discouragement. And, and, and sometimes maybe when people see you coming their way, it's not like their hearts are filled with joy. They're looking for a way out. They're looking for the exit because they can't get away quick enough. This is just something for all of us to evaluate. And I'm going to evaluate this too. Because I want to make sure that I'm a tool that, of, of comfort that God can use to lift up the downcast around me. Let's think about that, okay, from our own perspective. You know, let's not just apply this to everybody else's lives. Let's honestly look at this ourselves and let's endeavor to be a gift of comfort to those whose hearts may be filled with fear. Thank you so much for joining me today with the Word of God.